Whole life insurance, is it good or is it bad? Because there are a lot of opinions out there. Perhaps you've done research online or maybe you spoke with someone in the financial services industry. Depending on who you speak with, you may hear very, very good things about whole life insurance or very, very bad things about whole life insurance. Now we are specifically focusing on the cash value component here. Let's address the bad first. Why might someone not like whole life insurance or have negative things to say about it? Well, perhaps you've heard that it is expensive, has weak returns, takes 10 years or more just to break even or get our money back, it's a ripoff. And when it comes to taking loans, well, we have to pay interest on our own money. That's the bad. Now, the good. Many have heard that big banks, corporations, and wealthy individuals have used whole life insurance, high cash value life insurance forever, even to the degree that it's one of the number one assets on their balance sheet. Whole life products have strong guarantees, can break even, can have positive cash value between three and five years. One of the best places to position our money. And when we take a loan, yes, we have to pay loan interest, but we continue to receive interest as if we never borrowed that money in the first place. A lot of good things about it, but then we hear a lot of bad things about it. Like the example we see up on the screen here, you see a bad policy, what I'll consider to be a bad policy, where it is a traditional whole life insurance policy. Zero of my payment is in cash value in the first year and takes a long time to see any real value build up. But then you see a product with the same company, same individual, same out of pocket, very, very cash rich right off the bat. More money long term as well. Oh, and the death benefits are about the same on both examples. So is whole life insurance good or is it bad? Well, it 100% depends on how the policy is designed or how it is set up. If it is set up properly, like the example you saw in the visual there, the one with high cash value right off the bat, that is a case where you are now copying what many big banks, corporations, wealthy individuals do in the sense of optimizing your cash value. It's the non-traditional approach. And by the way, it's been around forever. It's just a means of having the knowledge or working with an agent that has the knowledge to set the policy up properly. And then this way you can use your money indefinitely. So the answer, in my opinion, would be it is a good place to position money. Hey guys, Steve Parisi here. If you enjoyed the content you just saw, please subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for future videos. If you'd like more information or to see some custom policies for yourself, feel free to call or email our offices at the contact information below.